hello welcome back to my channel so i am designing my next set of nails here i am missing another number six for my index so i am just going ahead and putting my two coats of color on my already made uh, gel nail and i'm curing that in my led light of this and then my middle finger and ring finger are going to be the nails that have a beautiful floral pattern design which is going to be this beautiful foil right here in this purple and it's going to be the same idea as this current set that I have where I have my solid color with a blended up sparkle and then my two design fingers Okay, so now that I have my two coats of purple, I am going in around the cuticle area with this beautiful lilac um, holographic glitter, which if you have some holographic glitter dust, you can mix with your top coat to create this color. So I'm going around the cuticle and just dragging that up halfway from the cuticle line that I created and then from the second line that I just created, halfway from that. That will just give this a really beautiful fade. I'm going to just check around my cuticle area and make sure I am happy with this pigmentation. Which I am happy with. And put that in the light. Okay, and now that the sparkly color has been cured in the light, I am going ahead and top coating this with my gel top coat, making sure all sides are covered and the top is even, no bubbles, nice and smooth. And in the light for the final curing. Okay, now the purple glitter is done. I'm just going to wipe it and add it in with my little set, which now leaves my remaining four nails right here uh, that are already prepped, gelled, shaped, all of that jazz. And I am going to go in with a transluted lilac color, um, which to make glass gel or translucent gels, if you don't have the colors in a bottle, you can just take your main color gel, pigmented one, and put it on a little mat or in another plastic container and mix in either some clear gel or um, some sealant and that will water it down and make it a little more see-through. Now I just like to have a little pigmentation and behind the nails that I'm going to be doing foils on, I just think it, um, it just adds a nice little touch. So I'm just going to paint uh, two coats on these nails and I will be back with my foil application. Okay, now because I want this design to last, I am going to lightly buff the surface of the nail while I catch them as they fly. There we go. It's the only downside with it being on a tape. So I am just going to lightly buff these. Before I get ready for the transfer foil. Okay, so now that I have my two coats of translucent gel on, and I have buffed and prepped my nail. I'm now going to put my transfer foil uh, glue over top to get ready for my transfer foils. Now the brand that I have, where it's a professional product, I have to let it air dry for a couple seconds before I lay my foil over top. So it's very important to make sure that all your sides are covered when you are putting your transfer glue on. Otherwise, your foil will have nothing to attach to as far as the nail. Now, my thing I gotta do because these little stands are magnetic, I do have to be careful that they don't touch. Okay, so now I am going to overlay my foil on the nail 
uh, lining up the design as to where I want to have it. And I'm just going to apply it. You can also cut your piece of foil off if you wanted. Um, so that you're not juggling with the whole roll. And I am just laying my foil over top, rubbing it in to get a perfectly, I don't know, perfectly transferred nail. <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to set this to the side because I do want to add a little bit of glitter to that. So I have my flowers going in this direction, so I want to keep them in this flowy direction. Now that I have my transfer foils on my beautiful little nails here, I am just going to go ahead with a little bit of glitter because I love my glitter. I find it just adds that little bit of attention. So I'm just going to drag a little bit of glitter wherever I feel like it would add a little bit of prettiness to the flower. And when I'm happy with that, I'm just going to add it, put it in the light, or as some call it, my little oven, and bake the nail. And I'm just going to do the same with a couple of these other ones, adding a little bit of glitter where I feel like the nail needs some, just to give it a nice little shimmer glow. I don't know if you can see that if I bring it up. There we go. It just makes it really pretty. It just adds a little bit of a little bit of sparkle. A little bit of jazz, a little bit of something. You know where I'm going with this. So I will finish this with a little glitter and then I will be top coating and I will meet you back for the final result. Okay, so now that these are done. Let's put them on my little template here. And I think these are just so adorable. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my size. There's five and there's six. <laughs> there's the six. These are so cute. I am so excited for these. So for those that haven't seen my previous videos, I will be starting to sell glue-on nails on uh, Etsy. So these nails are my current designs that will be available. Um, and I am just using these right now to test on myself. So the product is still in testing. Once I am happy with the product results and durability, how long they last, um, I will let you guys know that they are available on Etsy but these turned out so cute and I am sorry that my lighting isn't quite right to show how absolutely stunning these are but I hope this gives you an idea of one of the sets that I will have available and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and follow so that when I have my store up and available for these products you can grab a set for yourself and I will also be making a draw, so make sure you stay tuned to my channel so that you can be included.